into the power rankings. Who's number one? Who's number nine this week? Does it stay the same? Do we get a little bit of changes? We'll find out right now. Because we're going to go right into Nick's power rankings. Um, Let's see. How should we do this this week? Do I want to go nine to one or one to nine? Let's go nine to one. Let's let's start off like that. Um, At number nine, it remains the same. Maybe for the last week. But we are going to go with Edmonton. We're going to keep on there. They got to prove it to us one more week with Trey Ford. I think they will. But if they win this week, things get a little bit, you know, interesting over there in Edmonton and in the West playoffs. Edmonton gives itself another chance of making a playoff like they did last year when Trey Ford got in. So we'll keep them at nine. Hamilton at eight, two and six. They were going for three wins in a row. They didn't get it done. They got stymied by Montreal. Toronto at seven, four and four. I just don't like the dirt. Their offense dynamic right now. Their D-line is terrific. Their offense with their quarterback and their receivers, they're not giving Kadeem the ball enough. They're not giving Kadeem enough carries, and that's a problem. Give Kadeem carry more carries. Just give him, give him the ball, please. And maybe I'll start going back up in the power rankings. At number six, Winnipeg. Um, any team that just beat the crap out of a top team like that has to go up. Um I think as they get, you know, Kenny Lawler back, maybe after this bye week, look out for Winnipeg. They look like Zach Caleros is starting to find the rhythm, and Pokey Wilson is becoming another receiver that they didn't expect to be that guy. But now you add him with Dembski, Lawler, um, and Brady, and maybe the O-line starts playing a little bit better like they played last game, and they get back on the roll as the season starts getting to the end. At number five, we got Calgary 4-4. Four and four. Um, Good win for them. They're going on the road this week. Do they get a win? This is what this is what define their season. This will make or break their season because you can't just keep winning at home. You have to find a way to win at the road. That's what the good teams do. Are y'all good or are y'all not? At number five, four. BC, two shaky weeks in a row. Teams are starting to play y'all in man. What are y'all gonna do about it? Are y'all not good enough to get open? That's what it's looking like right now. Can y'all not protect y'all quarterback? That's what it's looking like right now. He's hurt. Um, Jake Doley, Doley Agala, um, he gets to start this week. <laughs> Can he keep the team above float? Can he keep them above the water? Can he do it? He, he, we need you. He, y'all need him to. Like I said, every team needs their backup quarterback to be okay enough to keep the team above water or treading water lightly or over the water, whatever you want to say, however you want to say it. Um, to keep the season going until your starting quarterback get hurt because it's just inevitable in this league. Tough game for your quarterback to last most of the season, unless you're just Jake Myers. He's, he's just uh, somebody who's always playing. <laughs> but other than that, we got Sask at three, five, and three. Um, back to back losses. Um, they got to get back in the win column. They got to find a way to do it with the backup quarterback until Trevor Harris gets back. Shea Patterson's playing well, though. Frankie Hickson is playing well as a backup running back. But too many backups get you L's. At the end of the day, that's just what it is. Um, you need to get your starters back. Got to get them back healthy. Got to get them back rolling. Ottawa 5-2 and two by week. Um, last time we saw them, they put a foot in Calgary's ass. And that's going to keep them. That's the last memory I have with them, so I have to put them up this week. They got a big game this week. Let's see if we can keep them up there at number two. This is probably the highest they've been in a long time in anybody's power ranking. Good for Coach Dice. Good for Ottawa. Number one, defending champs. Montreal. Who's better? Nobody's better. That defense. Tyrese Beverett. Um, the DB Ento. Um, the D line. Mustafa. Uh, uh, the middle linebacker Sankey. They're just great right now. Um, Jason Moss is the coach. Just out coaching a lot of coaches, even with the onside kick that everybody hates. He's just one step ahead of, ahead of everybody else. And and Thorpe. Defensive coordinator, also one step ahead of everybody else right now. And that's why they're number one in the power ranking, baby. And that's the power rankings for this week. Like I said, we got Edmonton at nine, Hamilton at eight, Toronto at seven, Winnipeg at six, Calgary at five, BC at four, Sask at three, Ottawa at two, and Montreal at one.